Hey pets, it is Dub Pet here and welcome back to another Pokemon TCG online video and today we're going back to the legacy format but first before I get into this deck profile guys I wanna I wanna holler at you guys for a minute. Okay now you know what? Tomorrow is my live stream. It is going to be my first ever live stream guys. Okay, so I, I announced uh, last week, I think it was on the second, um, that I was going to be doing uh, a giveaway to my subscribers, okay? And I'm having a little bit of issue with that and I'm unsure of how to proceed, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it anyways. For all my subscribers, this is the card you are up to get for free, absolutely free. It's my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel, for liking the content, you know, for subscribing to my channel. You're gonna win a chance. Uh, you're gonna have a chance to win this Shaman EX from Roaring Skies. It is the full art version with the ability set up. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. That's the one, guys. It's it's the real deal. You guys know I have the card, and I'm gonna be do I'm gonna be doing this giveaway uh determining the winner on a live stream so you guys uh the the winner will you know it'll be chosen at random i'm gonna be uh basically putting names in a hat and and drawing that way but you guys will be able to see that entire process hopefully i can get it right um okay now guys i'm having a bit of an issue to all of my subscribers okay i have 11 subscribers now and i'm so pumped that i actually made it past the double digit mark you know i didn't think i would ever get there but you know what guys i can only see like six names out of all my subscribers like six or seven okay so for those of you who have your subscriptions private you know i don't know who you are if you don't show me who you are so in order for me to enter your name into the draw you're gonna have to make your subscription public okay another way that you can get a hold of me is on my about section of my youtube channel there is two links there one of them is to uh my g my gmail which is uh the pet uh 2013 at gmail.com you guys can send me an email and say listen you know this is uh you know i i'm i'm one of your subscribers um but i prefer to keep my subs my subscriptions uh, private okay well another way that you guys can get a hold of me if you guys do not have discord I am on discord and there's also a link there and it's the come and chat with me link it's a way that you guys can get a hold of me uh, discuss Pokemon discuss decks it is a brand new channel so there's, a, there's like practically nothing in it but I'm there it's my own personal private channel so you guys can uh, come and talk Pokemon with me there it, it, there's a no sensor so a lot of times when I'm in game, I realize that, you know, I get a bunch of messages uh, on the in-game app. But, you know what, guys? I, I don't really ever chat on there just because of the fencer and because of a whole whack of reasons. You know, it's just really difficult to talk on there, especially when you're discussing trading. Like, there's been so many times where I'm trying to tell somebody the price of a card or help them out with a trade. And, you know, all that comes up is a stupid smiley face. So talk to me on discord talk to me through email it's a way you guys can get a hold of me for sure so with, with that in mind guys I know there's 11 subscribers right now okay I last check anyway there's 11 subscribers so if there's people out there that are like hey you know what? I'm just gonna I'm watching this video and I'm gonna send this guy and say you know what I'm, I'm subscribed to your channel well if I get more than 11 then you guys are going to foil the chances of the other people who actually subscribed and I might just have to go with whose names I know from the, my subscription page okay so please my subscribers help me out make your subscriptions public make this really easy that way I can put your name to a draw and then once uh, once you guys know that whoever is going to be the winner I'm going to send you an in-game trade and this is going to be absolutely free Okay, you're not gonna even have to give me a pack. Just make sure you have a tag, uh, a common card that you have like 20 of. Okay, and that's what you're gonna get your Shaman EX for. Right? That's absolutely fantastic. Thank you to all my subscribers. Okay, so let's get into this deck profile, guys. Um, I, I know you guys seen that, but uh, anyway, guys, we're going back to the legacy format. Okay. Now I built this deck already, guys. 
I built it and I played about 10 matches with it, I think. Yeah, something like that. But I'll show you the stats later. Anyway, this is my version of the Thunderous Deoxys Caillou Room deck. Okay, guys? This is the star, my star attacker of this deck. It is the Caillou Room from Team Plasma. He has a 130 HP water type Pokemon with two attacks. The first attack, Frost Spear. Does a base damage of 30 for one water, one colorless energy, and it does 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Okay, so 30 and 30. So that doesn't seem like too good when you compare it with uh, with some of the other cards, uh, massive amounts of HP that they have. But as I go through the deck profile, you guys are going to understand how powerful this card is. Okay, he's got the Blizzard Burn as a secondary attack. It does 120 damage for two water energy, one colorless energy, and this Pokemon cannot attack during your next turn. So right away, that doesn't really seem too fantastic. I know when I first started Pokemon and I looked at this card, I just read the card and I didn't even pay him a second thought because I didn't understand deck building and, and the combinations of uh, Pokemon that you can put together to make a really, really great deck. Okay, so we're going to be pairing up uh, our Team Plasma Kyurum with the Deoxys EX from Team Plasma. Okay, it is uh, 170 HP uh, Psychic type Pokemon with the ability Power Connect. Okay, the Team Plasma Pokemon, all of them, their attacks do 10 more damage to the active Pokemon. And that's before you apply weakness and resistance. Alright, so with 4 Deoxys EX on the bench and this guy as your main attacker, you're doing 70 damage to the active Pokemon and 30 to the bench. Or you can use Blizzard Burn for 160 damage. Okay, and that's before weakness guys, so you can imagine how much damage output potential you have there. Okay, back to Deoxys guys, he's got one attack, Helix Force, he's gonna, for one uh, Psychic Energy and one Colorless Energy Attachment, and it does a 30 damage as base, but if this Pokemon has any Plasma Energy attached to it, this attack does 30 more damage for each energy attached to the defending Pokemon. Okay, so big guys like Mewtwo EX that need lots of energy to, to, to do massive damage output, this guy, answers him okay so there's been matches where i played with this where it was deoxys versus mewtwo and they were just bang one shotting each other bang one shotting each other bang one shotting each other and it was crazy all right it was it was absolutely fantastic the way that synergy went and in that case guys i did win the matchup okay so and also here's a bonus kairum he hits landorus ex at weakness think about that guys Landorus Garbodor, such a big deck in the leg C format. Kaiurum rolls right through him. It has the ability to one shot him. Okay? Any fire types, bang, Kaiurum can roll right through him and hit that guy for weakness too. It's pretty fantastic. Now he's weak to metal, but there's not too many metal decks out there. Okay? So he, he's fairly safe. I mean, he does have his bad matchups, obviously, but, you know. Okay, so I already mentioned, guys. We have the Kyurum as our main attacker, hits fire types for weakness, hits fight, certain fighting types for weakness, and that's pretty fantastic. Then you have the Deoxys EX as a potential secondary attacker, which hits anything weak to Psychic for weakness, okay? So definitely a bane to the, to the Mewtwo EX is open. Okay, our next attacker is going to be the Thunderous EX. Thunderous EX is a Team Plasma Pokemon that has 170 HP and he's a Lightning type. Okay, he's got two attacks. The first attack is Raiden Knuckle. Oh, it's always a cool name. Anyways, it's for one uh, lightning energy. It does a base damage of 30, and you attach an energy card. Not basic energy, an energy card. So that includes special energy. From your discard pile to one of your bench team plasma Pokemon. Okay, Kyurum gets knocked out. You have one on the bench. You bring in your Thunder. Bang, you attack. If those four Deoxys are still on the bench, that's 70 damage that you're hitting. Okay, and that's that's if they're that's if they're not even weak to lightning. If they are, that's 140 damage for one energy attachment. That's crazy. That's just an insane amount of damage for low energy cost, right? And you recycle your energy that ends up in the discard. So no longer do you have to fear Professor Juniper. No longer do you have to fear the Ultra Ball or the Junkrat. Getting rid of an energy, because this guy will just will just recycle it. Okay, so his secondary attack is called 
thunderous noise or four energy costs two lightning two colorless for 90 damage if this pokemon has any plasma energy attached to it discard an energy attached to the defending pokemon there was one matchup guys where i actually had to use thunderous cx as my main attacker it was nuts and i managed to win with thunderous cx by himself i just loaded him up and you know it, it's just it just happened that way so that's that's uh that's our third potential attacker in the lineup and our to finish out our pokemon roster is the absol from team plasma now i know guys when you guys are playing uh tdk nobody nobody likes to run absol you know but i figured there's pokemon out there that are weak to darkness there's pokemon out there that need a full bench to do uh high amounts of damage okay so like empoleon right thunderous will take care of you but if i don't have thunderous then i have the absol right bang okay anyways guys absol is a darkness uh type uh, team plasma pokemon that has 100 hp and he's got two attacks the first attack mind jack is one darkness one colorless does a base damage of 20 but he does 20 more damage for each of your opponent's bench pokemon okay think about that for a second your opponent's got five guys on the bench all right that's 120 damage that you're going to be hitting that active pokemon for okay add into that equation you have four deoxycyan ex on the bench that's 160 damage boy so you can see already there's massive potentially massive damage outputs here okay he's got a secondary attack called fearsome shadow for three energy costs one darkness two colorless does a base damage of 60 and your opponent reveals his or her hand that's a, an attack we're probably not going to use but in, you know it it might happen okay but i just wanted to have different options in my uh in my plasma deck right instead of just the base thunderous deoxys kyurem i added absol and you know what actually he won me a match and it was kind of nuts because i needed exactly 160 damage right and i had only had one kyu room left and i had already used blizzard burn i i i took out his i took out his ex card he put in another one and you know he ko'd my kyu room he just k'd him ko'd him and bang I know, suddenly i was left with absol and i was like oh my god oh my god i absolutely need this amount of damage right and it was the magic number and i ko'd my pokemon taking the win so that's our pokemon guys and we're gonna get into our energy our energy cards okay we run four plasma energy you never run a plasma deck unless you have plasma energy it's just oh it's just you need it okay i like to run four prism energy now this is a cool energy card because it provides colorless energy but if it's attached to a basic pokemon this card provides every energy type and that's fantastic because i have water types i have psychic types i have lightning types i have darkness types okay and i want to be able to use any one of my guys at any given time so there we go i have uh, prism energy for that okay i also run one rainbow energy and it it doesn't matter you attach it to any one of your pokemon it hits you for 10 damage which is a little bad but you know it it's every energy type again so it's just another option of me being able to be more versatile in the attackers that i start with because i don't always start with a kairum you know sometimes i start with an absol sometimes i start with a thunderous sometimes i even started with the oxus right so i need to be able to to be in any situation and start attacking as quickly as they can and guys i also run one darkness energy basic one lightning energy basic and two basic water energies and the reason being team plasma decks they have a huge disadvantage because they run so many special energy in a lost remover format okay lost remover is in every single deck i'm pretty sure it's in every deck well this just gives me a little bit of option to be able to attack and not get stuck too much okay but lost remover is a big threat for this deck okay so we talked about our pokemon we talked about our um our energy okay a way we're going to be able to ex energy accelerate is through the use of cold rest machine 
You search your deck for a Plasma Energy card and you attach it to one of your team Plasma Pokemon. Okay, so first turn that you're eligible to attack. Let's say your opponent went first and he did his whole song and dance. You have your Kyurem in the active or your Absol in the active or your Deoxys X in the active. And you need to start attacking right away to put some early pressure on your opponent. You attach an energy and then you use Cold Rest Machine. And that is how we're going to quickly fill up the Frost Spear attack, the Helix Force attack, and the Mind Jack attack. All in one, in, in your first turn. Okay? So it's worked out pretty well for me, guys. Like, uh, I, I, ha I haven't had any problems with it. I think I lost one match. So it, it's pretty good. Um, another way we're going to be able to, f to have a little bit more consistency in our deck is through the use of computer search. We're going to discard two cards from our hand. And we're going to search our deck for a card and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. Okay, so it's a great consistency card. I thought about using Dowsing Machine, but... You know, I, I really wanted to, to use computer search and I'm glad I did because it helped me. And actually guys, out of the 10 matches that I played, I think three of those decks were uh, Rayquaza Eels that also ran Raikou and Victini. I think two of those matches were Landorus Garbodor and uh, one of them was a Weavile deck. Um, yeah, there, there was, it was pretty much all the top decks right that i was playing against and do you guys know what i want to lost to with my deck i lost to a durant deck a milling durant deck and that's what that, that's what beat me because he was just discarding absolutely vital cards that i needed um uh, and, and i couldn't get to them without expending huge amounts of resources just to get them out of my discard pile so you know it was it was pretty cool. Okay, because we run so many different basic energy types, we run one energy search, and you search your deck for a basic energy card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Okay? So I don't want to get stuck with a darkness energy when I need a water energy, or I need a lightning energy from a thunderous, right? So it's just a great option there. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. <coughs> to increase our damage output, we're going to be running three Hypnotoxic Lasers, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned, flip a coin, if heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is also asleep, okay? It's a great disruption card, it's a great uh, damage output augmentation card, it just it just really goes well. And it's from Team Plasma as well, so that's, that's a pretty handy fit. I run four Junk Arms, I'm pretty sure you guys know what this, this card does. You discard two cards from your hand, search your deck, or search your discard pile for a trainer card, show it to your opponent, put it into your hand. Okay, I, I think you need to run four, at, at least three, in every single deck that you make in the Legacy format. It just, you don't have, um, you know, actually I just think it's just a really great card. There's been so many times where I needed to hide my energy, my special energy, in my discard pile because I knew my opponent was playing lost, re lost receivers, lost removers. Sorry guys, I can't talk right now, I'm a little bit sick, but <clears throat> it's okay. Um, we're also running two Pokemon catchers, and yeah, you search your, you switch your opponent's active Pokemon with one of his or her bench. Okay, you can, you get the pick. It's basically like a Lysander, but with a coin flip. Okay, um, to help us find some of our supporters, we're we are running two uh, random receivers, and you reveal cards from the top of your deck until you reveal a supporter card. Okay, and that means any supporter card. The first one it finds, that's the one you're getting. So you put it into your hand and you shuffle your other cards back into your deck, which is fine when you need a supporter or you want a different supporter, bang, you just play that one. It doesn't always work the way you want because it's no guarantee you're gonna get, you know, your cold rest over your juniper, but you know, it is what it is. And at least you have that supporter for that turn. Uh, we're gonna run two switch balls. You're gonna switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. Okay guys, now that's in case we, uh, we get a Deoxys EX stuck in the active spot through the use of catcher or escape rope and we're having a hard time getting them out and we don't want to spend energy uh, resources on attachment and retreating when we could be using those uh, energy attachments for our attacker so plus it removes special conditions and if i can switch out my attackers at will or at least when i need to then that's also very very fantastic 
to find all of our Pokemon. We run the Team Plasma Ball. We're running four copies of them. And you search your deck for a Team Plasma Pokemon. You're going to reveal it and put it into your hand. Okay, so you can search out your Absol. You can search out your Thunderous, your Deoxys. Anything with a Team Plasma right there, guys. Okay, anything with a Team Plasma there, you're going to be able to search it out regardless of HP. It is like running four Master Balls in here, but it's for Team Plasma Pokemon. Okay, because Genesec EX's G Booster is such a big deal and Garbodor's tools are such a big deal and we need our abilities, we need that Deoxys X to uh, augment our damage output, we run two tool scrappers. You guys know that I like to run two, okay? Now, you guys are probably wondering, hey, where's this guy's Super Rod? He runs two tool scrappers and two super rods all the time every deck that's what he does you know it's very rare that he runs anything anything more anything less well guys i think we have so every each one of my 10 pokemon is potentially an attacker every single one of them so i don't need to recycle one pokemon okay i don't need i don't i don't need to do that i can just switch switch up my tactics start attacking with a different type and keep the train rolling and if i need to recycle energy then i have my thunderous dx with that read and knuckle attack so i don't need rod that's pretty fantastic it frees up two extra slots okay now let's get into our supporters we run two co you shuffle your hand into your deck then draw a number of cards equal to the number of benched pokemon in play that's both yours and your opponents for a maximum of 10 cards I'm just gonna let that sit with you guys for a moment, okay? You have a full bench, your opponent has a full bench. You need cards, like right away. You need a lot of options, bang, there's cool rest. Suddenly you have the best chance to get what you need, okay? So we run two of those, we run three Professor Juniper. You discard your hand and you draw seven cards. It's great for getting through your deck when you say, okay, you know what? I don't need uh, this card or this card or this card or this card or I want to hide my special energies. You just need to get rid of all this stuff because they're not going to be needed throughout that match. And you just discard it. Just goodbye. See ya. Draw seven more cards. And then you're that quicker at drawing every single turn into what you need. Okay, so great supporter there. We're running three Professor Oak's New Theory. You know, you shuffle your hand into your deck and then you draw six cards. Arguably one of the best uh, draw supporters in the game if not in the legacy format it's definitely my favorite because you guys know i don't really like discarding things from my hand or from my deck if i don't need to because the way i try to build my decks every card is important that's the way i look at it you know every card in your deck is important and if you're not building a deck where every single card in your deck is important then I don't know, maybe that means you make better decks than I do, or or maybe that means you make worse ones. I have no idea. But, you know, you guys know I'm not a great deck builder anyway, so whatever. Um, okay, anyways, another way we're going to be increasing our damage output is through the use of Frozen City. Come on, all you standard players, you guys know what Team Magma Secret Base does. You know, you put your you put a you put a po Pokemon from your hand to your bench, and suddenly, bang, you hit him for two damage. That Giardos Magikarp deck that uh, that everybody was hyping a while back at the I think it was Orlando Regionals, I think it was. For, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just starting to be more active in the Pokemon community and starting to uh, learn about what's going on in the Pokemon world. So I'm pretty sure it was Orlando. If I'm wrong, correct me, guys. Uh, you know, mention a uh, put a comment on this video and say, hey man, quit being stupid. Do your homework before you start talking about shit. Okay, so that's what that's what this stadium does, but it's a team plasma version of it. Another way we're going to be augmenting our damage output is through the use of Silver Bangle. This attacks that this Pokemon that this card is attached to, excluding Pokemon EX, do 30 more damage to active Pokemon EX. It is an EX card bane. Okay, so put it on this guy. That 30 turns into 60. Add 4 Deoxys EX. That 60 turns into 100. For two energy attachment and pff, you're hitting for 190 with that blizzard burn it's just unreal okay and absol your opponent's got a full bench that's 120 that's 150 damage by himself with no deoxys ex add the four deoxys ex and again you are hitting for 190 damage do the math on that guys what 
has more than 190 HP in the legacy format. You know, except through the use of tools, you can reach 200-ish with Eviolite and uh, 180 HP Pokemon. Um, and I don't have 180 HP Pokemon in this deck. So, there you go. That's my deck, guys. It's not pretty. It's fairly simplistic. You know, I know you guys are probably looking at it and saying, Oh, you know what? You could probably take this out. You could add this. You could do this. You could do that. You could do this. But you know what? I threw this together, like, this morning, I think. Hey? Well, yeah, I think it, I think it was... Uh, sorry, guys. I was asking my wife, like, when I exactly I made this deck. Because she is my rock. She... You know, she supports everything that I do. And she loves playing Pokemon as well. So we help each other out with that. So anyways, guys, I made this deck. And it actually has done really well for me. Okay? So you guys can go ahead, copy the deck list, screenshot it, whatever you need. But, uh, yeah, it, it, we'll take you through a couple of matches, okay? Uh, unsaved changes? Yes, we're going to discard them. I don't know any. I didn't want to make any changes to my deck. Okay, so TDKA is what I named the deck. And uh, you guys can see, I played 10 matches with it, I won 9 times. Okay, I, um, and then I edited it once, because I think I had 2 Absols and I took one of them out. Um, yeah, I took one of them out and I switched it for, I believe it was uh, a Team Plasma Ball. So I wanted to have 4 of those in there. And, you know, since I last edited it, I won 5 out of 6, that's pretty good. So, I mean, it's not a perfect deck, obviously, but it's pretty decent. And then let's get, let's go into a couple of matches with you guys. All right. So I blabbed on for so, so, so long, guys. I'm so sorry about that. But I had to get that Shaman EX giveaway that's slated for tomorrow live stream uh, set up. Guys, I am still learning how to do a live stream. I am like going to be Googling it and making sure that I dot all the T's and cross all the I's. And you know what, there's probably, <coughs> excuse me guys, there's probably going to be a live stream on my video later on tonight because I'm going to be trying to set it up and, you know, probably doing a practice run on it and then, you know, it might, it'll probably stick on my channel. I'll be like, oh, it's live and you guys are going to hear uh, pretty much everything you're hearing now. So uh, that's how it goes. But anyways, guys, let's get into a match. So we're going to look for an opponent, and I hope we're not going to run into a bunch of players doing that well played, well played, well played, well played. Like, dude, we didn't even play yet. Why don't you give me a chance to to see whether I'm going to, like, totally do something good or do something bad, and then you can tell me well played if I did good, right? Okay, Trekkie Wars. All right. We win the coin flip, guys. All right, and we're going to choose to go first. And the reason why I'm choosing to go first is because he might have an evolution deck. I don't know that, but he might have an evolution deck. So we're just going to start with our Absol. Um, he's running a couple of different types in his uh, deck. So let's find out what he's got. I see a Darkrai. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and poison that Darkrai right away. Now, I'm, expect I'm expecting a Sableye in this deck. Um, well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get out our Deoxys DX to try and uh, augment some damage output. Uh, we're going to Energy Accelerate to this uh, Absol right away. And we're going to draw with Oak because I don't need a Switch Ball and I don't need... Ooh, that's not good. Oh, perfect. That is so perfect. <clears throat> And this is why, guys, I run this energy search. Because otherwise, I would have been stuck with a water energy. And I don't need a water energy right now. I need a darkness energy. And look at that. There it is. And boom, guys. Look at this. If, I, if, it, if he had gone first and left my cards alone, benched a whole whack of Pokemon, I would be hitting him. Let's say he benched five Pokemon right there. Okay? He benched five Pokemon. He is all ready to go. He's doing his song and he's doing his dance. Well, guys, I would have been hitting him for 120, 150 damage I would have been hitting him for right now. So I thought that was pretty... You can see you can see the power of that, right? Add to that with a poison, it's 160. If I would have got for Bank City Gym, oh my goodness, look at this. 
an enemy Absol hits the hits the field. And I have four guys on my bench. Oh my goodness. He is definitely going to put some pain on me, this guy. So he uses his computer search. Great consistency card. And I am pretty sure that I, I, I recognize this name, Trekkie Wars. Sound, it looks really familiar to me. There's GG Olight. Plays Professor Juniper, discards a... Uh, yeah, there's a Lost Remover, guys. You see that? That it, it is the bane of any Plasma deck. Okay, so he retreats after putting a special energy on his uh, active Darkrai EX and switches it over his uh, Absol EX. Okay, so we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to try and bring that Darkrai back. Uh back into the active spot and uh, guys if I can um, if I can do something to try and put some early pressure on this guy that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing okay so we're gonna take this off because I don't really want you to resist anything that I'm doing right now so yeah we're gonna take that off Ooh, I'm in a little bit of a tricky spot right now um what am i gonna do okay well obviously i'm gonna energy wait 60 so if i do it this way i'll do 20 40 60 20 40 60 70 80, 90 damage if i load this guy up that's 60 70 80 90 damage i'll do so either way i'm gonna be doing 90 damage so it's not really worth it for me to put a lot of energy on this guy so i'm just gonna energy accelerate him I'm going to put that on him uh, so that I can recycle in case this guy gets knocked out and hit him for 90 damage so he's got a hundred on him so far try to put some early pressure on that dark cry definitely and look at that guys he, he's softening himself up over there he put 20 damage on himself just putting an energy on his guy Okay, so I was wrong. It wasn't about um, uh, benching your basic Pokemon. It was about attaching energy. I guess I should have read the card, right? So, okay, so I don't wake up. That's not such a good thing for me. I'm going to try and get this Darkrai back into the active spot. Doesn't work. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw with Oak. And that was a really good top deck card that we, uh, that we managed to get right there. Um, we're gonna be benching a uh, Kyurem. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, you know what? I kind of want this guy in the active spot. Uh, just so that I can attack right now. But what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the junk arm. I don't, wait, no. I'm not gonna get rid of the junk arm. I'm gonna get rid of the laser and the plasma energy, and we're gonna look for a switch ball. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, there's a switch ball right there. And we're going to be putting the Thunderous in the active spot. And that plasma energy that I just put, um, that I just put in the uh, discard pile, I'm gonna be recycling that real fast. So I'm gonna hit this Absol for 60 damage whenever it chooses to go. Uh, guys, I've been having a lot of problems with the OPS software, so. Um, look at that. There's the plasma energy that I just discarded and we're going to be attaching it to our Kyurem so that when I'm ready to do another energy attachment, I can attach it to him and I'm ready to rock and roll. So boom, he attaches two energies to this Darkrai and he softened himself up. He's got 40 damage on him already. That's four damage counters. He's got 140 HP left. And look at this. Coal rest. Okay. He just drew in seven cards. I was just talking about how fantastic that card is and I think that shows you uh, exactly how fantastic that card is. Okay, so. Wow, that totally blows that I have to draw into another into another junk card. Well, we're going to get rid of them all. Well, both of them anyway. Um, okay. 
Okay, how are we gonna do this? Um, not much I can really do in this spot. Uh, I was hoping for something a little bit better than this. Uh, yeah, I was. Okay, so we're gonna attach that there. Um, I think I'm going to. Uh, am I gonna do that? You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna attach this energy. I'm gonna retreat and I'm gonna put my Absol in play. I'm gonna get rid of this special energy so he cannot lost remover it and also so that I can recycle it with this Thunderous uh, later on if I need it. And we're gonna go ahead and take a prize card against this uh, um, Plasma Absol. We take a prize card and we got a Tool Staker is not too bad of a card and yeah if he puts an energy on here we're gonna be in bad shape there's the energy okay but he softened himself up again at 60 damage he put on himself before before i even touched him so he's gonna be in a bad spot here if i can if i manage to get this oh there it is look at this guys i got four deoxys ex on a bench okay so I do that's 40 plus the 30, that's 70 damage, plus the silver bangle, that's gonna be 100 damage that I'm putting on this guy, real quick. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna take that damage, and I don't know if I'm gonna KO him or not, actually. Hmm. Let's see, 30, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, he's got 120. Uh, okay, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna try and KO him right here. <gasps> oh, I should not have done that. I should not have done that at all. Um, okay, so we're gonna, uh, yay, I should not have done that. That was my bad. Okay, we're gonna start loading up the Thunderous, and we're gonna draw with Colrest to take six prizes, uh, six cards, sorry guys. Um... Should I poison this guy? I, I think I'm going to. Um, actually, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna poison this guy. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of those. I don't think I really need them right now. And we're gonna get back a um, laser. Add ten more damage to what we have going on. Put him to bed. A great disruption card. I'm gonna use Frost Spirit. So bang, he's, he, he's, in a, he's feeling a lot of pressure right now guys. If he attacks with his Darkrai EX, he's gonna take out my Plasma Kyurem, which is fine, I got another one right here, but he is also gonna be trading two prize cards for one, so I don't think I'm gonna see an attack from this guy. I think, I think he might retreat. Okay, he's poisoning me, I have no idea why he would do that unless he plans to retreat. He touches an energy. He softens himself up. Okay, he's attacking. And it's game over, guys. It is game over. And uh, Team Plasma wins over the Dark Cry EX. Okay, two prizes. He gets KO'd from poison. And he's left with a lonely Dark Cry on my turn. I would imagine he's gonna quit here, but if not, then yeah, okay, it's over. And there you have it, guys. You guys can obviously see how powerful this deck is and how quick it can get set up. That was fantastic. I put so much pressure on both of those Dark Cry reactions so quick into the match. So. I think that was a really, really, uh, a really great match. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into a few more. I hope I don't lose, but you know, every deck does lose. So we got metal, water, colorless, and grass. There could be so many combinations with that, with those types involved. So actually, Shale Run. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I battled this guy lots of times before. I don't know if I ever beat this guy, but. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. 
and he quit. Yeah, okay, maybe I did beat him. I'm, I, I'm not tooting my own horn here, guys, but for whatever reason, okay, good. For whatever reason, certain players that I play against, once I deliver them a crushing defeat, they don't really want to play with me anymore. And look at this, guys. This is a Genesect deck. He quit. He's got three Genesect EX. He's got the Jirachi, the Outrage Kairu. Wow. Man, he would have been a tough cookie to handle. Um, he's got Virizion. He's got Shaman. Uh, he's got Smeargle, Energy Switch. Wow. Okay, I'm not going to save this deck list, guys, but it's pretty cool to see what other people are running in their decks. So, I thought that was pretty cool. So, I've got a bunch of energy, right? 16 energy? Man, that's quite, that's quite a bit. Um, okay, well, Shiel Ron, uh, thanks for letting us look at your deck. Um, maybe next time, buddy. Um, okay, so that was a Dark Cry EX deck. Dark Cry Absol, there's probably a Sableye in there somewhere. Maybe a Garbodor. I don't know if there was. Uh, we never seen one, so. And then the next deck we faced was a Genesect Verizian deck. Verizian Genesect. Both strong decks really really strong decks and we managed to overcome both of them so let's get into one more match because i know that i talked forever and you know i'm very long-winded tuber pie and he's got water fire and lightning so this is pretty interesting um i don't even know what i'd be playing against right now I guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so he's got a Skyla, Twins, I see a Special Energy, Special Energy, Water, Experience Share. That Experience Share, when I see that in a deck, it usually means that you are intending to lose prizes at some point and you want to keep your energy uh, in play, so. Oh, it's a Ho-Oh Legend deck and I'm pretty <laughs> sure that he's going to be using Blast Toys to power up this uh, Ho-Oh Legend. That would be so fantastic to see. I've never played against the ho -Oh Legend deck, but I've read the card, and now this was actually going to be uh, one of the videos that I was planning to upload. I, I wanted to make a deck out of this. So, okay, we get our big Pokemon. Um, does he have one? No. He doesn't have one. Okay, so I get a free card out of this, but he might play N, so it might not even matter. <coughs> And if he's got so many different energy, it might stand to reason that he's got, oh, he's got a Raikou and Sequin Legend and a Ho-Oh Legend in one deck. Okay, I am excited for this match, guys. I really, really am excited for this match. Um, have you guys seen the power of my, of my Kyogre and Groudon Legend deck, I think? It can get set up so quickly and it can do large amounts of damage. So... So I see Coress, okay. I don't know what he's using for an energy acceleration engine, but Ho-Oh, I believe, has a four, uh, four energy cost. Okay, he's got N. So I hope he doesn't get N the first turn. Then I can, you know, play around with my cards for a little bit. But, you know, if he does, I'm sure that uh, it won't be that terrible. Um, but I, I hope he doesn't. So I get to draw four cards. None of them are Pokemon. Oh my goodness. This guy is so bad for me. I hate playing against this guy. Because I don't even want to put any damage on this guy until I can do 180 damage. And this is what I was talking about, guys. This EX right here, 180 damage with an Eviolite. That's 200 damage that you need to put on this sucker to knock him out. And I can only hit for the magic number of 190. Well, unless I get my laser, but that all has to work in like in tandem with each other. And it is, that's a pretty tall order, you know, to consistently hit that number, you know. So we're going to do what we can. And I'm really interested to see this guy's deck. Tuber Pie, you are on the pet PTCGO legacy format. And, um, you know, let's give the, oh, wow, he benches a legend in the first turn. This legend will hit me for 150 damage uh, and he'll do 50 damage to himself 
and then the secondary attack is Aurora Gain. He'll do 50 damage to me, and he'll heal 50. Oof. Uh, kind of not looking forward to this match now. Um, so we're going to go ahead, and we're just going to start loading up our uh, Deoxys on the bench. Um, we're going to try and put this guy into the active spot, uh, if I can. But, so we're going to energy, energy accelerate this Kyurem. Um, we're going to junk arm both of these tool scrapers away. We're going to get, uh, we're going to make sure we have all of our, uh, as much of our Deoxys DX on the bench as we can uh, to try and maximize our damage output. And we're going to be using Juniper to discard the rest. There's the water energy. That's so nice. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm expecting to take losses in this match. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bench uh, this Thunder CX and I'm going to be benching this Caillou Rim. We're going to be poisoning this guy. And we're going to be attacking. Let's put some pressure on this guy early in the match. So there you guys have it. You know, I was able to attack my first turn of the game uh, doing two energy attachment, right? For 70 and 30, right? Or 60 and 30, sorry, plus the added 10. So he's got 90 damage on him right now. So he hits me for 120 damage, guys. So he's got 80 HP left. So I'm gonna be attaching an energy to this Kaiyu Rim. And we're just going to be discarding all of this. We want to get through our stuff as quickly as possible. And he quits because I was going to be attaching this silver bangle onto this also KO his uh, Kyurem EX and put this guy well within a one shot range and the match was going to go. So there you have it guys. And hopefully he'll show the deck. Oh, okay. And it does show the deck. Okay. So He's got two Kyurem. Oh, he even had Team Plasma Kyurem in that. Um, he had a one, two line of the Raikou Sequin Legend. I have no idea why he has one, two. Um, he's got a one, one line of the Raikou Entai and a one, one of the Ho-Oh Legend. Oh. That's, that's, that's a lot mm -hmm. to put in the deck. He's got one escape rope, scramble switch. Ah, to switch between legends. That was, that's pretty good. Um, he's got the great ball, three of them. For any Pokemon, okay. He's got the Pokeball. Pokemon communication. He's got two super rods, two Chorus, one Skyla, two twins, one oak. Oh, he's got another Skyla. Another two oak, <laughs> two N, one indigo plateau. Okay. Wow, he's got 20 energy in his deck. Holy moly, don't it chop. That's a lot. Well, he he knew the strategy behind his deck. I, I don't. Um, definitely not the way I would build a deck, but, you know, everybody's got different styles to play, and any style can win at any time, you know? So, well, uh, Tuber Pie, thanks for playing, uh, you know? So there you have it, guys. I took you through three matches. First one was Darkrai EX, the second one was Genesect EX, and the third was a Kyurem EX loaded with legends. Okay, so, and yeah, that that's the deck, guys. I mean, I I really wanted to showcase my own version of the Thunderous Deoxys Kyurem deck, and as you guys see, I played it 13 times. You know, when you guys started, it was 10 and 9, now it's 13 and 12, and the deck is just absolutely fantastic it is strong like i can attack with any one of my pokemon at any given time i can energy accelerate for two energies in one turn possibly three and you know it's just it's just a really great deck you know guys so we talked about the deck profile we took you through some matches we discussed uh the supporters uh i'm mean, sorry the subscriber issue that i was having with tomorrow's live stream draw and 
I'm going to be uh, signing off now, guys. But I'm going to be going to work on trying to make this live stream as interesting as possible for you guys. Uh, please make your subscriptions private. Check out this video. Make those subscriptions private. You know, if you guys are thinking about subscribing public. to my channel. Oh, sorry. Public subscriptions. Make them public so I can see them. Yes, let's do that. Okay, guys. Uh, I hope you guys like the deck. I hope you guys uh, are pumped up for tomorrow's shaman giveaway and my first ever live stream. And uh, hopefully I'll have a deck for you guys tomorrow. All right. Uh, I hope it's uh, I hope it's an interesting deck. I have no idea what I'm gonna do yet, but I have a few ideas. Uh, actually, wait. Do I, um, did I even talk about any any decks that I plan to build? No, I didn't. Eh? I don't think I did. Um, anyway guys, I'll figure something out for tomorrow and hopefully it'll be really, really cool. Okay? Well guys, until next time, this is Dupat saying see ya and happy sniping.